film really looks like with the full sound effects by the end of that session. So talk a little bit about the props and the, the miniatures that we use. I'll just touch on it briefly with the, uh, the helmet. This is a pretty prominent piece that, that came into play in our short and um, I happen to really, really like this piece. And uh, our model maker, Kim, created what looks like a metal uh, helmet that the prisoner wore in the dungeon sequence. So this is a picture that we produce uh, in the model department, of course, and it's supposed to be a pewter or metal pitcher that the um, prisoner grabs to, to get some water. So this is a really light piece, actually, and it's hollow, and it's rolled out, the material's um, kneaded together, the two parts kneaded together so it's an even, uniform color, rolled around, stuck together on a seam, and then banged up and sculpted a bit so it looks like a piece of metal. One of the last pieces I wanted to talk about in, in the prop department is the candles, the candles that were on the uh, judge's table. These are actually cast sculptures. I sculpted up a little candle and um, I cast them in, in a urethane plastic that had this, this, this is basically the col color of the plastic. I liked it a lot because it was the color of old beeswax candles. This lower piece was produced by um, sculpting up uh, in propoxy a little can uh, candle stem. Then we made a mold of that and cast up a whole bunch of them, but initially this piece was, was propoxy as well, then we painted them up 